I was raised in a cult, and I survived. I just called myself a cult survivor. Why, you might ask? Well, from birth, I've been going through hell and back, always striving to keep myself sane. I know of many who killed themselves. However, the vast majority ended up with health, mental health issues, including myself. But I'm not scared anymore. Whilst you're inside, you're not allowed to question anything they are taught. Well, you can ask questions within a margin. Why can't I not celebrate my birthday? God doesn't like it, and if you do, he will destroy you. Can I go to my school friend's house for a sleepover? All my friends are going. Well, they don't worship the true God, and they're going to be destroyed very soon. Do you want to be destroyed with them too? Sounds like fun, right? My free will was never granted to me. I could not make important nor simple decisions by myself, as I did not own my life. It belonged to God, and that had to be my only purpose in life. I remember myself being a very good student. I used to love doing my homework. I was so good that even teachers would call home to tell my family how great I was doing and what a bright future I had ahead. For some reason, I've always wanted to study two degrees at the same time since I was very young. Did I fulfill my dream? No. How did I even dare to think of spending three, four, five, six years of my life studying something ordinary when I could have done something extraordinary like preaching God's word before the, aim, the end comes. Anyone who knows me would say, oh, Noemi, she's so bubbly, so sociable, always with a smile on her face. However, I have never experienced true happiness of being able to be my own self because of all these conditions, all these rules, and never being enough. Our whole community shuns me. They treat me as if I was dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead to them. Why? Because I no longer believe they own the only true religion. The people who were like family to me, people who I grew up with, the only people I was allowed to have a relationship with. They treat me as if I was dead, whilst I'm still alive. I'm going to mention one experience I went through that made me finally wake up completely. It's a very personal one. As a young adult, I committed a sin, a sin toward the Lord's eyes. I think most of the audience would have been in trouble for the same thing, which was having sex before marriage. Little did I know that telling someone very, very, very close to me my secret would lead me to having the very next day a judicial meeting with three old men in charge of judging me with God's guidance for the sin I had committed. Can we just picture it for a second? An 18-year-old young woman in a small room with three older men quizzing me about my sexual activity in detail. I cannot stress enough how much in detail it was. Whilst reading from the Bible how in ancient Israel fornicators were punished with death. Are you repentant? Of course, I don't want to be defellowshipped. I don't want to be chucked out. Just the thought of being defellowshipped, losing everything and everyone that I knew, that terrified me. Lucky enough, I wasn't defellowshipped. I was only censored, just not allowed to take part in certain parts of the worship. Needless to say, that the meeting was meant to have been kept secret. But guess what? It was not. Everybody knew about it at the following meeting. Everybody was uh, avoiding me. They did not want to be seen with me because I was dirty, because I was disgusting to God's eyes. How devastating was that? 
to be treated like dead whilst I was still inside of the cult. God is love. God is forgiveness. I saw no God there. I saw cruelty. A cruelty that let me end up weighing 38 kilos, not wanting to leave my bedroom for months. But I left. I moved out. It took a lot of courage, but I did it. I learned that I am the only one in charge of my life, and nobody will ever judge me for that again. However, why do I say that escaping is not setting me free? Guilt, doctrine, fear, powerlessness, insecurity, anger, and the list goes on. All these things, I have a constant battle to get rid of them. I am scared of having close friends because I might let them down. That terrifies, that terrifies me. I feel powerless over my loved ones who are still trapped and I cannot even bring up the subject to them. I might actually lose them after this speech. I feel lonely, lonely because of this conditional love I was raised with and never being able to be part of anything or fit in. I have asked for help before and I'm very proud of that. But this is my battle and only I can fight it. I can count with the fingers of one of my hands how many people knew about my past. Just the thought of people knowing about it and judging me for it would have literally killed me. It's taken me almost 12 years to have the courage and speak up. But I am free now. Thank you for my closure. <laughs>